क्वेश्चन नंबर 166 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज यूज्ड टू सेलेक्ट जीन्स फ्रॉम जीनोमिक लाइब्रेरी ऑप्शंस आर क्लोनिंग वेक्टर डीएनए प्रोब्स रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम्स एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज सोमेटिक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन सो लेट्स डिस्कस द ऑप्शंस वन बाय वन द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन गिवन इज क्लोनिंग वेक्टर एंड दिस कैन नॉट बी अ करेक्ट आंसर टू आवर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ क्लोनिंग वेक्टर इज अ व्हीकल दैट डिलीवर्स फॉरेन पीस ऑफ डीएनए into host organism so this is a vehicle vehicle that delivers foreign piece of dna into host organism the next option given is dna probes and it is a correct answer to our question because dna probe is a fragment of dna or rna of variable length which is used to detect the presence of nucleotide sequence that are complementary to the sequence in the probe so these are used to select genes from genomic library the next option is restriction enzymes and this is an incorrect option because restriction enzymes are used to digest the genome for genomic library and the last option is somatic hybridization and this cannot be a correct answer to our question somatic hybridization involves fusion of plant cells of different varieties so the correct answer to this question is option number 2 let's discuss our next question question number 167 amplification of gene of interest by using pcr for 30 cycles may go up to and the options are 0.1 million times 1 million times 1 billion times and the last option is 1 trillion times now by using pcr it is possible to generate 2n molecules that is after n number of cycles we can have 2n number of molecules so for 30 cycles there will be to the power 30 molecules therefore 1 billion copies are made at the end of 30 cycles so the correct answer to this question is option number 3 1 billion times whereas option number 1 0.1 million times option number 2 1 million times and option number 4 1 trillion times cannot be the correct answer the correct answer for this question is option number 3 let's discuss our next question question number 168 the figure below is the diagrammatic representation of a typical agarose gel electrophoresis for typical agarose gel electrophoresis here this gel has four lanes 1 2 3 and 4 these are wells or loading wells where dna sample has been loaded now choose the correct option and the very first statement is dna fragments move towards a node because they are positively charged and this is an incorrect statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question because dna fragments are negatively charged so they move towards anode the next statement is separation of dna fragments occurs due to sieving effect in gel and as it is a correct statement so this is a correct answer to our question because dna fragments separate according to their size through the sieving effect provided by agarose gel so the correct answer is option number 2 third statement given is larger dna fragment move faster then smaller fragments and this is an incorrect statement because larger dna fragments move slower than smaller fragments the last option is dna fragments are visualized after staining with bromoethane in green light and this is an incorrect option because dna fragments 
can be visualized after staining with bromoethane or ethidium bromide by exposure. to UV light. So the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 169. Read statements A and B and choose the correct option. Statement A says, Agrobacterium tumefaciens causes crown gall in dicots. And this is a correct statement. Agrobacterium tumefaciens causes tumor called as crown gall in dicot plants. Statement B says, Agrobacterium tumefaciens enters the host through wound and injuries in certain plants. And this is also a correct statement. Agrobacterium tumefaciens has been termed as nature's genetic engineer and usually infect Dicot plants through open wounds or injuries. Let's discuss the options. The very first option is B is correct, A is incorrect. This is an incorrect option as both the statements are correct. Second option is both A and B are correct. This is a correct answer to our question as both statements are correct. Next option is both A and B are incorrect. This is an incorrect option. And the last option is a is correct and B is incorrect. This is also an incorrect option. So the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 170. If only gene C without flanking sequences is to be isolated from given fragment of DNA, what is the choice of enzyme from options below? Here, this is the given fragment with A, B, and C gene and now you have to isolate gene C without any flanking sequence. So you have to isolate this reason only without any flanking sequence and we know that restriction enzymes recognizes specific nucleotide sequence in DNA. So, in order to isolate this fragment C, we have to digest this fragment of DNA with the enzyme recognizing these sites and which is what? Which is BAMH1. BAMH1 will cut DNA at these sites and isolate it. However, if we will cut this DNA fragment with eco R1, so this will cut hair as well as hair and other sites also. But if this enzyme will cut hair and hair, we will get gene C but along with these flanking sequences which are not required as per question. So we have to cut this given fragment of DNA with BAM H1 only in order to avoid flanking sequences. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4 BAM H1. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option given is eco R1 and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because after digesting this given fragment of DNA with eco R1 we can get gene C along with flanking sequences and not without flanking sequences. The next option is CLA1 and this cannot be a correct answer to our question. Now if we will cut this given fragment of DNA with CLA1 which will cut hair as well as hair then we will get this much fragment as well as this much fragment. So we can get gene C but with flanking sequences. And the next option is eco R1 and CLA1 and this cannot be a correct answer to our question because if we will cut with eco R1 and CLA1 together, then eco R1 will cut hair, hair, CLA will then cut hair and hair. Then also we will get gene C along with flanking sequences. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. This given fragment of DNA 
digested only with BAM H1 will create gene C without flanking sequences. Now let's discuss our next question. Mm -hmm.